At Flint, Michigan, a crowd of 35,000 enthusiastic fight fans gather to watch the General Motors Amateur Boxing Tournament in the Atwood Stadium. And the referee is the most famous of them all, that idol of boys and men, Jack Dempsey. As a preliminary, two flea weights prepare to mix it up. And under the eyes of the Manassas Mauler, they do all they can to achieve a knockout. But Jack tells the boys to stop stalling around. And just to show him what they can do, they make the fur fly. In one of the main bouts, two automobile companies are represented by two handy-fisted employees. The winner, he looks as though he could take it, and boy, can he pass it up. In this gentle game of give and take, if the eye isn't quick, the ear becomes colorblind. in northern Michigan, they don't always leave their cars on the shore. Say, what kind of a boat do you think you're launching? The smelter running. Every spring in the little streams off the Great Lakes, thousands of these fish get the urge to go places and do things. What they do, nobody cares. But where they go is very important to this man. All smelt who are interested in a ride have been invited to climb into the back seat if fish can climb. There's plenty of room for all who care to enjoy the comforts of the modern motor car. No hooks, no line, no bait, no waiting. Just close the door, and with any luck at all, you have a load of passengers. It's not very scientific from the Isaac Walton point of view, but then, the man who fishes for smelt doesn't measure his success by the number of fish he gets, but by the pound. There's no law to limit the catch, and the fisherman may have just as many as he can carry away. Let's see how many of the little fellows were motor-minded. This watertight body brings them back alive. And that is the end of the fish story, and also the end of those fish. <laughs>